Hey guys, and welcome back to Skies of Arcadia. When we last left off, we managed to get to Nassar uh, as Ica, because Vase has been shot down, and so has Ica, but, well, and Fina for that matter. But luckily, we got saved by a rather interesting character, which we uh, may or may not see a little bit later. Anyway, let's go. Let's explore. A couple of things we can do here. Now, this place is big. Very big. Oh, hello. What's this dude doing? I hear there's been much unusual activity going over Valua. Uh, Valua way... Yeah, if I could talk. It's literally like quarters of twelve at night. <laughs> Let's start that one again, shall we? I hear there has been much unusual activity over Valua way lately. I wonder if we're going to have another war. We have the NASA army to protect us though, so I do not think they will ever actually reach a city. Oh, don't be so sure, sir. Now that's the inn. We actually need to stay at the inn, but um, there is something we can actually do first. Now if we actually... There's a couple of things we can potentially do here. We can go in here, and this is the um, ship item shop but we can't do anything here because we don't have a ship remember yeah that 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 was a little bit awkward hey there how goes the sailing i have cannons for all your destructive needs feel free to take a look <laughs> well uh i'm uh we don't even have our own ship right now so what are you doing here window shopping i don't like window shoppers yeah dick fine i'm gonna tell my friends that you're a knob anyway if we go up here, this is the uh, Discovery Guild. Welcome to the Sailors Guild. The Sailors Guild, I should say. We pay very well for information on discoveries. We have no money and no ship. I don't think we have time to look for discoveries. Hmm, that may be a problem. If you have no money, I can always go to the money... You could always go to the money lender and borrow some. There's a money lender here in this town named Osmond. Oh, just look for the building with a picture of a pink cat. Yeah, getting ourselves in debt might not be a grand idea, but at this point in the game, our two, uh, the two girls here might not have a huge amount of choice. Now, what we can do is go this way. Now, see, these are double-decker shops. And if I remember correctly, there is a way of getting in here, up here. Now, this is the weapon shop. And if we go in here, uh, if you remember, I don't know what is going on with the camera angle. It seems to be just doing whatever it wants. When we came up here and it's, see it's spinning around in circles, it was doing that on its own. It's really off-putting. Uh, the camera is a little bit weird in this game. I don't know why. Uh, this is a brand new Elite 2 controller I'm using, so it's not the controller. Um, anyway, yeah, just it, mm, just odd sometimes. Uh, anyway, let's go in here. Yeah, so there is a merchant at the desk there. Now... That's the merchant that we saved and escorted in the beginning of the game. Oh, young lady, you were the girl that... It has been many moons. It is I. You and your friend escorted me to the NASA border a little while back. Speaking of which, where is your friend? You know, the one with the eye patch. Are you not traveling with him anymore? Oh, you mean Vase. Well, it's a long story, but we were separated. Oh, I understand. Perhaps you had a um, difference of opinion. Well, no, actually, that's not it. You don't have to pretend. It's all. Uh, it is said that the closer you are to one, the more they make you angry. Ha 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 ha. Hmm. Well, here, take this. I want you to have it. Consider it a token of my gratitude. You receive an uh, abric cham. I thought that a moonstone shard as beautiful as this would be fitting for ladies such as yourselves. Ah, Harmless old man. 
Now, if we um, later on, we're going to come back here as Vase, and we can talk to him, and he'll give us a different line. He's convinced that Ica and Vase have fallen out. He seems to think they're some kind of couple. Uh, they definitely should get together because they're. It is kind of destined, I think. But anyway, so we've got an Abrak Cham. So we might as well feed that to Cupel straight away. I mean, you might as well. If Cupel eats an Abrak Cham, uh, he will evolve into his next form. So he's a star at the moment. Now he's a spike. Cool. Let's go. All right. Do I want to save it? No, I don't think we really need to. Uh, dude. Thank you. Welcome. This inn is 240 gold a night. Would you like a room? Uh, we've actually been shipwrecked. And we have no money. But that's not true, Ica. You were given five grand. I'm trying to find a way to raise money, but... Bah, you girls look like good kids. I trust you. I will start a tab. You two can settle it when you leave, okay? Hmm, okay. Well, we don't really have a choice, so... Alright. You can use the room all the way in the back on the second floor. I hope you sleep well. That's very kind of her, I suppose. Ah, oh, coffee. Midnight and I'm drinking coffee. Yes. Uh, looks like we're going to be stuck in Nasrad for a little while. What are we going to do tomorrow? Well, I was thinking about looking for a place to work. We have to save up some gold. See, Ika, she's she's focused. She's got her head screwed on. Let's put aside the money that we got from Clara. If we save up some more, we can buy a small ship and go looking for Vase. Eh, seems like a decent idea. What do you think, Vina? Yes, that sounds like a good plan. Well, tonight, let's get some rest and hope for the best. <laughs> like a shit-eating grin there. You know, I actually really like the characters in this game. There's a surprising amount of personality in them. And, uh, yeah, the, yeah, very un unfair that we never got a sequel. Or we, I'd settle for a remaster. But, mm, who knows. But I wonder where Vase is, though. Yeah, me too. Vase, I wonder if you're looking at the same moon right now. Lovely scene that is. You know, for an old Dreamcast slash GameCube game, it really is. It's got some pretty uh, cinematic scenes. Phase. So, Ika, Fina, are you looking at the same moon right now? I hope you're alright. I used to say that to someone. <sighs> We're we'll always be together. Because we're both under the moon. Sounds stupid now, but hey. We all did stupid things when we were kids. And, I, and so, I spent my first night alone on the deserted island. I woke up to some fresh, clean air and a warm sun. Eh, it doesn't sound too bad. Ooh, look at it. Beautiful day. Ah, that felt great. But I'm really hungry right now. If uh, Gonzalez survived long enough to settle in that cave, there's got to be food on this island. It's time to go hunting. Yeah, seems to be a reasonable thing to do. Now, there was, if we remember correctly, another chest all the way down here. <laughs> in uh, our little hidey hole. Oh, I love this music. Oh my god, I, ca I can't tell you the hit of nostalgia from this music. I was actually playing a bit of this the other day, and I was just sitting here in this cave, just listening to this music for a while. Just had a little moment. It was uh, really nice. Anyway, uh, so over here we have a chest. 
you received 1,827 gold. Strange number, but okay. I guess that's uh, Gonzalez's <laughs> worldly possessions, but you know. It looks like a diary. Maybe it's Gonzalez's. Let's read the diary. It's been 20 years since I landed here. No ships passed by, and I have no be means to build my own. Living here as a sailor, or living as a sailor, I knew that there was a possibility that this could happen one day. But my only regret is that I could not fulfill my promise. Ooh, what promise is that? And you can see the uh, mark scratched in into the wall there where he's been here for a very, very long time. 20 years stuck on this island. Ugh, I can imagine he probably went quite mad. Anyway, let's go hunt. So we need to get like 15 pieces of meat, I believe. So we just have to run around and see what's here. Now listen to that ambience. All the birds singing and whistling and God knows what. Uh, that leads me to believe that there's plenty of life on this island. So this is what we're eating. Yeah. Grapor doesn't exactly look well tasty now does it it's like a giant bloated fish thing but you know i guess it's better than dying and he ran away they will die with one hit now we need 15 pieces of meat So we got 9 experience and 129 gold for killing one. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Hmm, this meat looks pretty tasty. Maybe I'll look for some more. Okay. They look like there's a lot of meat on those bulbous, tumorous fish. But, well, they look like fish anyway. Weird flying fish things. Now, oh, well, let's keep up the hunt. Now, usually they appear in quite big groups. I say usually. Three. Yeah, better than none, I suppose. Now, easier way of killing them is just to use magic. Just go for Pyrie. It will kill them all in one shot. And I'm guessing it cooks the meat at the same time. Efficiency. Alright, so that brings us up to four. So we're almost a quarter of the way there. Alright, come on. Come out of hiding. Vase is hungry. And we want weird fish, snake, bubble things. Three again? Seriously? When I was playing this the other day, I was getting like five or six in a group. Well, that's the last of the coffee. I am saddened by this. Okay. So that's another three. We had four, so we now have seven. So we're almost halfway there. Come on. Ow. Oh, that music. That music actually reminds me of a game, but I cannot put my... Ah, oh, two... I can't put my finger on it. No, we don't want to use Zachary. I cannot put my finger on what that reminds me of. But it's really annoying me. It was annoying me uh, yesterday. Well, I wouldn't say it was annoying me, but I was getting frustrated trying to think. That tone. I can vividly picture a game in my mind, but I just cannot, cannot think what it reminds me of. Definitely a Dreamcast game. I'm I kind of leaning towards um, Sonic Adventure for some reason, but it's not. There we go. There's a bigger group. That's more like it. Burn them all. That's right. It's five. 
another group like that and we're sorted. Getting some good money from this as well. Maybe that's where Gonzalez got all of his. Have a little look. Well, oh, it's in a bit of a sorry state. Maybe it's repairable. It's the lifeboat I came here on. It doesn't look like it's in very good shape. I wonder what happened to everyone else. Well, kind of like last time. Um, I think the girls have had it slightly easier than us. Just slightly. In fact, they've had it significantly easier than us. I mean, I don't think they're going to starve to death where they are. One. One. Not even going to waste a spell. Ugh. Seriously, game? Are you trying to prolong this episode? Well, I mean, this episode's going to be roughly the same time regardless of what happens, but... Oh! That was the last one we needed. Oh man, I ate so much. Those things are at actually taste pretty good. I should have enough food to last me for a while. We're going to meet one of my favourite characters, hopefully, in this episode. I wonder if this island is near any of the trade routes. A ship has got to pass here, sooner or later. I should prepare some sort of signal fly uh, fire, in case I see any ships. That's a good idea, Vase. That's a good idea. I spent my second day gathering food. Lucky for me, the island was inhabited by animals. I started my third day with a big breakfast. Now it was time to get to work. I went to the highest point of the island that I could reach and cleared away for an cleared away an area for a signal fire. If a ship passes by, all I need to do is light it and they'll probably see it. Good thinking. As long as the ship isn't hostile, of course. I've been stranded on this island for three days. That night I had a dream about Ica, Fina, and even Drachma. On the fourth day Well he hasn't gone mad yet. Yeah, this place isn't so bad. Let's see. I need to gather some firewood. Firewood, you say? Should be quite easy. Hmm, they're dry and they're just about the right size. I should look for more sticks like these. Alright, we can do that. Now if we look over here, here's Gonzalez's grave. Gonzalez, I'm sorry it's such a simple grave, but I hope now you can rest in peace. Yeah, me too, man. Now, one thing I've always hated about Vase's character model, if we slow it right down, look at how his feet bend. They're kind of cut in half. They're really odd. You can see it really badly when... Um, he bent down to pick up that firewood. It kind of makes me shiver. Alright, let's get some firewood. I think there's like five pieces of firewood we need to pick up. Yeah, nice and dry. Lovely. Now, okay, this is the third one. If I can just find two more, I'll be able to start a fire. Yeah, I think... I mean, if you were living on this island for 20 years you would probably deplete all the resources pretty quickly I'd wager too alright so we just need one more load of sticks looks like the signal fire is going nicely this is a good thing I guess now I just have to wait for a ship to pass by and notice the signal fire aye yeah and again like the camera's fighting me it's really strange Right, last sticks. This should be enough to build a decent sized fire. 
Well, I have enough firewood to last me a while. Looks like it's going to rain soon. I should call it quits for today. Well, it was my fourth day on this island, and I'm really starting to miss sailing. Yeah, imagine 20 years, Vase. It could have been more than 20 years. 20 years was just what was written in his diary. Uh, I suppose I just have to think of this as some sort of vacation and deal with it. Yeah. <laughs> yes, could be a very long vacation. On the fifth day... Ah, rain. No point getting cold and wet. Well, it's been raining all day. I guess I won't get much done. I'll just rest for now. I don't want to sit around all day hoping for a ship to pass by. I wonder if I can fix the lifeboat from the Little Jack. Possibly. It rained all day. I spent most of the day resting in the cave. This is my fifth night on this island. First thing tomorrow, I'll try and fix the lifeboat. Another good night's rest. It actually does feel good to take a break from fighting monsters. Well, I better get started on fixing my boat. Since this island has been deserted for a while, there should be some moonstones lying around. The rain probably unearthed a bunch of them. Hmm. Moonstones, you say? That's a, that's a big stone. Here's one, but I need more than one to fly to the next island. Really? That's a pretty big chunker of a stone. Time to look for some more. Alright, well, let's go look for some more moonstones. Look at the size of these things. I mean, how many do you need to fuel a ship? Hey, I found one. I guess I'm pretty lucky that it rained yesterday. Otherwise, I'd probably never have found any of these moonstones. They couldn't have been that hard to find. Look at the size of them. They're huge. And they're red. So I'm guessing we're close to Nassar. Which is awfully convenient. Because that's where the two girls are. Right, so two more, I think. I think you have to get five. I think it's the same as with the firewood, basically. Uh, there we go. Oh, here's one. It's a red moonstone, which means I'm probably somewhere near Nassar. Exactly. Red moonstone. Ah, found another one. Hmm, one more will probably be enough. Well, see where the last one is. Just over there. I'm sure there was a way we could zoom in with the eye patch. Nah, maybe I'm thinking of another game. Wouldn't be surprised. Wouldn't be the first time I've got my games mixed up. Won't be the last. I do love this island. Imagine falling off this cliff. Oof, dude. Tuck your head between your legs and kiss your ass goodbye. Anywho. Last one. Man, I'm so lucky there are plenty of moonstones on this island. <clears throat> These moonstones haven't been processed yet. They may not give off much power, but it should be enough to power the little lifeboat. It looks like I'm fine. I'll finally make it off this island. Well, at least we had the ability to repair our ship. I started working on the lifeboat. This island is full of trees, so I won't have to worry about running out of materials. Eating the food that I saved up, I spent the next few days hard at work on the boat. Now, I do wonder if he's still eating the food that uh, he harvested on day one or day two. Uh, surely by day five, six or seven, it's starting to spoil. But hey, what do I know? One week passed. He's done a good job of it. He's even repainted the hole. Probably made some ink or some dye from those strange bloated fish things.
managed to repair all of the chunky metal bits as well. Good lad. Moonstone got a bit smaller. But we have power. Nice. We might be getting somewhere. Look at that scene. Beautiful. All right, that should just about do it. I think we're in business phase. I'm finally going to be able to get off this island tomorrow. Yeah, okay. Well, that seemed to have worked. Load it up with food and let's get going. And, you know, Gonzalez's gold. Tragic to leave that there. What? Ooh. Well, that is a very peculiar looking ship. A ship. A very cool looking ship. Ah, huh, why couldn't it have come a little earlier? <laughs> I wouldn't have spent all that time working on the boat. Yeah. Run, Vase, run. What a champion. Looks like a pirate ship. That could be good, could be bad. Looks like a signal flare. That's not hostile. Yes, they saw me. Well, it looks like I'm finally getting off this rock. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Meet the captain. Captain Gilda. This guy, well, this guy, he's a peculiar <laughs> bloke, but he's he's pretty cool. I actually like this guy. He, <laughs> he reminds me of a friend from Discord. He knows who he is. Captain Gilda. Oh, not again, Lola. Uh, let me sleep a little longer. Captain, uh, Captain, you need to wake up. Huh? Uh. <laughs> we just picked up a boy stranded on a desert island. He says he's been there for two weeks. Two weeks? Judging by the way he's dressed, he's probably an air pirate. Looks like he's about 17. Pretty much still a baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. <laughs> and the parrot's called Willy. He's a lucky kid. He was only stranded for two weeks. But if it was me and I was stuck on an island without any women for two whole weeks, I'm not sure I would have made it. Yeah, that, that sets the tone for him more than the artwork in his cabin. So, you're the guy that was stranded. I actually just like his character design as well. It's really cool. Hmm, and you're dressed like an air pirate. What's your name, kid? I'm Vase. Thank you for saving me. Are you the captain of the ship? Yes, I am. Just call me Gilda. The ship's name is Claudia, and this beast on my shoulder here is Willy. Come to the bridge. I want to hear about your adventures. Such a cool ship. You defeated three of the Armada's admirals and escaped from the Grand Fortress? I like you, Vase. I wouldn't expect anything less from an air pirate. Personally, I'm constantly searching for adventure. Treasure, brawls, and women. There are tons of things in this world that make me happy. Women are like sunsets. They're beautiful, but there will be a different one tomorrow. That's my motto. Yeah, that's... 
kind of dumb. Uh, yeah, he's kind of a prick. <laughs> but, you know. So, what do you say? That's a good motto, or that's a little messed up. Now, the correct thing to say is, that's a little messed up. That's messed up. How can you be a captain with an attitude like that? Gilda takes it in good humour, though. You're right. But strangely enough, here I am, commanding my own ship. But what about yourself? Here you are, battling Valuer and chasing Rackman all over the world. You're not the type to settle down either. So, you've been away from your ship for two weeks, right? I bet you really miss sailing. Go ahead, take the wheel. What? Really? You'd let me? I don't care. Anyone who's accomplished what you have knows his way around a ship. The Claudia is a little on the sensitive side, but you'll get the hang of her in no time. I'm heading to Nasrad. It's the capital of Nassar, due south from here. If you get lost, just look at the map and get your bearings. Alright, let's go. Yeah, you can see Gilda just doesn't give a shit, really. He's as laid back as they come. And I like him. He's he's funny. And here we are. A new ship. For now, anyway. So we're finally off the island, which I think now has a name. Wait, we can actually dock here? I wasn't expecting that. Well, I guess we can dock here which means we're gonna go and save the game because we're out of time but we have a ride off this place uh, I like the way Gilda just doesn't care if we come back and dock like you know no shits given at all it's the most easygoing captain ever uh, right I guess yeah we just save it there so I'm like saving over the same saves over and over that's how problems arise. Now you can see that we actually have uh, a lifeboat from his ship. Well, it's not really a lifeboat, is it? More of an away ship, I suppose. Anyway, that's the end of that. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.